Libra readings. Happy New Year, Libras. You made it to the New Year. And I'm going to apologize for my inconsistency last year. My New Year's resolution is to do better with this. So we'll just get to it. God bless this reading. Libra. For the month of January. This one wanted to jump out. Four of Pentacles. What should Libra expect for the month of January? Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups. Nice. The Chariot, Three of Pentacles, and the Star. Just a moment. Uh, Libra reading. Okay. So Libra, it's a past, present and future spread. Well, uh, I can see in the past you had a few struggles, Libra. Financially, you're dissatisfied. Uh, but you are you are navigating your life gracefully. You are doing. I mean, you was you are having internal struggles, but you are not showing it to everybody else. So you are doing it very gracefully with the Queen of Wands. She's very graceful in her approach, very kind, very motherly, nurturing. Or oh, this could be your energy, Libra. You're very feminine. You're, you're a, I would say you're a good-looking individual. Um, with the nine of wands, see you were you were fighting a lot. Could be you were fighting for your health or your business. There is something that was trying to bring you down, but you are not a quitter. You stayed on course fought a good fight and I want to say you saw it through successfully because in the current present with the Queen of Swords you really matured whatever experience you went through but I can see that you're also going through that experience quite gracefully you are carrying it well you're one of those people whereby people get shocked when you reveal to them that was a tough time because when they look at you they don't expect something like that so the experience you went through that made you very strong and also a bit stricter nobody can uh, joke with you anymore uh, you you wisened up with that experience and uh I can see you going for what you want. You become very bold, Libra. And, uh, and daring. Someone can dare you. What you went through really made you stronger. I can say that. Your experiences made you stronger. And wiser. Because you have two queens. Queen of Swords in the current. And Queen of Cups. Usually... Queen of Swords is a strict motherly figure and Cups is emotionally very strong. So you see that's why I say you wisened up and with the Knight of Wands he's not scared to do whatever he wants. So it's given you the the strength, the confidence to approach life very boldly. So that was the that fighting for not quitting 
was the best decision you did in the future things will be moving very fast if you've been working hard to try and make more money that is going to bring forth if you are investing your time in your business in your career in your school in your family in your home life that is going to pay off and this is not in the distant future it's uh, because the chariot fast moving card and if you're single a fire sign is coming in quite fast yes it's coming fast and in the future you'll also be trying to balance your life i'd say balancing both your career and home life i mean yes the future looks good but also i want to mention that with a star sign usually if you look at this person on the deck they are naked and that nakedness is more vulnerability so yes you're wise and strong and you're bold and uh the things you're investing in right now be it in a relationship or your work or your business or your school or your family life that's going to bring to work you are going to see results and success from that however it does not mean that you will not feel vulnerable from time to time or scared or question yourself if you're doing the right thing or not and such like stuff so i would say overall libra you really wisened up you matured up and that's that's a good a good thing at least you can take a positive out of what you went through have a good night